Well, a pair of first responders getting some much deserved recognition in Acadiana this afternoon. Acadian Ambulance presenting awards to its EMT and Paramedic of the Year. News 15's Ashley Hamilton attended that awards gathering and joins us live after speaking with the two honorees who say there's nothing more fulfilling than saving someone's life. Ashley. After speaking to both honorees, they say the greatest feeling in the world is being able to save someone's life or bring someone back to life. Both tell me this was their true calling. Dozens came out to honor paramedics and EMTs across the state for their hard work every day. Governor John Bell Edwards wants Acadian Ambulance to know the difference they make under challenging circumstances doesn't go unnoticed. 90% of the state's population's lives are better today because of Acadian Ambulance. And as the governor of our great state, and on behalf of all of the 4.7 million people who live here, thank you. Sierra Nixon was named top paramedic. She says after five years, the most enjoyable thing about the job is the people she meets. Whether it's my coworkers or my patients that I come in contact with, um, I enjoy making people laugh. So if I can just make them laugh on presumably the worst day of their life, it's a good day. Logan Butts was named top EMT as he's been working for a little over a year. Being able to just walk into someone's home and make them feel safe, it just... I can't express it in words. It means a lot to me to be able to help people out like that. They both admit it's their calling to get out there and help others in need, especially during natural disasters. That is some people's worst day or week of their life when these hurricanes come in, and being able to be a little light in that darkness means a lot to me. Once you feel that feeling of knowing that you helped save someone's life, there's nothing else like it. Tomorrow will be a new day and they'll be back to doing what they do best, taking care of people. Live in Lafayette, Ashley Hamilton, News 15.